Paddy Dow is next in the 2021 player review series. Paddy Dow, Paddy Dow, very similar to Jack Silvani. He, he played the three games in 2020 as well. And I think going into the season, it was a, for me anyway, there was a bit of an unknown, like, where is he at? Is he going to make it? Are we going to see something? He, he had a, an injury interrupted 2020. He had the, the knee issue all year and he was never really able to get on top of it. Combined with, you know, when he was playing, it, it seemed like he didn't have the confidence and he wasn't able to just go to that level. And he, he was almost, I guess, in need of that maturation. And he, he still has that that young approach to the way he plays and he didn't, never really asserted himself. Um, obviously, he's moved position a bit. He, he's been asked in the last few years to play more of a half forward role with, with minutes in the midfield. But 17 games in 2021... And I think the overall feeling with, with Paddy Dow for me is it was probably just more of a sigh of relief. Like, okay, we saw something. It, you know, I, I think a lot of people had written him off. Um, I had never written him off. I was just kind of waiting for like when it would the penny would drop, if it would drop. And Paddy's got nobody to um, to thank more than himself and the work that he put in. Because I think we we got a bit of a pulse. I think he started the season a little lean. Um, the first game of the year, he was okay. He had a bit of a patch between rounds four um, through to like seven, where it was a little lean. He wasn't impacting games. Um, I think he hurt himself as well in that Essendon game. Yeah, that's right. He had the the eye issue. Um, but just before he had that poke in the eye, it looked like he had started asserting himself in the game, and it was a real shame. He came back in round 12 against the Eagles with 19 possessions, and then we started seeing a little something. And I reckon it was... The Adelaide game, after that GWS debacle, we played Adelaide, and that's where I remember the sidestep was, was really starting to show, and he was playing with a little bit of confidence. And he had he's done this before, and you start thinking, all right, well, if he can just string two or three games together, and he probably hadn't done it in a while, but this year was different. Frio, he backed it up. That was a really important game for him. I remember that was at the MCG, and you know, obviously Chera and Brayshaw, the guys in his draft class, are playing, and... He looked good. He looked like he was starting to assert himself. Looked okay against Geelong. And then he just continued on. Collingwood, North Melbourne was obviously a poor game, but he had a you know a season-high 24 possessions in that game. Then the Saints, and then he, he sort of tailed off a little bit. But he had that five-week block where it was like, there it is. Okay, there's something to work with here. And I, I think that's what we needed to see as fans. And I think that's definitely what... He needed to see is you know as a player as well, and obviously you know we we're fans. We're we're on the outside. We don't really know what's going on, and there's a lot that goes into playing AFL footy and and succeeding at the highest level. And you know there's a little bit of a we have to take a step back and and let them do the work and and let them figure it out. But it was just pleasing to see a little something from him this year, and I hope that the back end of 2021, very similar to Jack Silvani. For you know, for Paddy Dow, he's something that he will you know build off in the preseason and, and move on into 2022 and beyond. Um, obviously, drafted in you know at the end of 2017, he'd be entering his, his fifth season. So it's 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 we're at that point now where it's I guess it's time to see is he going to be able to go to that next level and ultimately everyone needs to do something to improve next year. That's just, that just goes without saying, but. Yeah, like I said, for me, it was it was just pleasing to get something of substance from him, Look, to, to see him play with confidence. Um, I thought his kicking inside 50 improved at times. I think that was one of the big knocks on him. He, the game seemed to finally slow down a little bit for him, and he was able to, it looked like anyway, from the outside looking in, it looked like he was able to think his way through. And I guess with repetitions at the highest level, you learn, and and that that's that's the that's the, the dichotomy. Do you do you learn in the VFL and earn your spot and come into the AFL, or do you throw him into the AFL, let him learn his lessons there? And I think Paddy Dow is someone that needs to just be playing regular AFL footy. There is obviously a, a limit as to how much you can cop in terms of how how poorly someone can play before you need to maybe drop them and let them go work on something. But look, he, he's done what he needed to do. I think it was a tick overall for, for him. Not getting over the top. The job's not done. He's obviously got plenty of work to do, and I'm, I'm sure he would be thinking the same thing as well. But for me, it was... Uh, I mean, I was pleased with what I saw. It was a relief, like I said at the start of the video. It was a relief to see him put something together for, for me to say, okay, it's going to work. He, he's building towards something. So that's how I saw his game. What about you? 
did you do you think just him being in the midfield is is the solution or do you think it's just a natural progression of of him in the league and getting comfortable with his surroundings and you know he might still be able to perform that half forward role if we need to let me know what you think in the comments and we'll go from there